welcome back in this video we are going to fetch all the users that you have created for our expenses tracker application using burn stack so the user registration is done so what you are going to do is that you want to fetch all users and after this video they are going to deploy this application to Roku and we are going to develop it step by step so let's go ahead and do that so the same process before you can do that let's go to our controllers and users so this one is for register and let's create one more controller for fetching all users so call this one comment fetch all users and the function goes like this so const fetch users pura is equal to my async callback function like that rec and response and in here let's bring try and catch yeah so here we're going to make use of mongoose method called users and it's equal to await dot find so this find if you pass in empty correction like this we're going to return all the instance of this user so you find a way of doing what's called pagination but to this point let's maintain this way to provide an empty object this is your um, query criteria it means that you want to fetch all instance of users so what i need is i have to send rest.json and then send these users to the user so if something goes wrong let's send the error dot json error so here the same process you can wrap this function into inside your expert async handler and we can throw any errors but for now or better still if you don't want a login user or, or you want a let's say admin only to access this endpoint we can do so let's wrap the function inside express async handler and in the future we will come back here and then we wrap it and, and do it like this we did this one in the previous video by express async color let's just catch any errors for now we are not throwing any errors so it's okay for us so let's export this function so let me add controller to it so that controller express first users controller and then export it so the lesson is how to call this function inside my route right so here let's come to route users and there you go and I have one more function here called fetch users controller. And all I need is I need to create one more endpoint to so user route. Some around is get. And then let me provide a path here and then fetch users controller. All right. But guys, I want to have a base URL right something like api slash users slash register so if you go so let's add users here right so now our endpoint goes like this um localhost slash 5000 and users so with this with this right if you try if you try to add users here let's check it out you see not found so if you go back to our application the users controller route so let's go back to the app sorry the app rather and the app we have what is called um, users route that is the home route users so we need to add something to it so why is that it says not found this endpoint is not found oh sorry it's post but instead it's get so for now let's change one to get for the meantime and let's send you see we have the users but i want to have something like api users and api users slash register so i need to add this one here so something like api and then users so it is a base route the base endpoint right so now i have to make changes to this user here the users route some around i remove this one from here so now this one becomes api this one becomes api users and register and this one becomes just api users cool so now let's create 
one more so let me undo this one and make it register as before okay change to post and then save it so let's create one more so now we see that the it has changed so let's change it to api slash users so api slash users and then slash register okay so send and now exit so let's create one more endpoint so let me copy that paste it and let me call this one fetch users and it's put sorry gets but not post and let's change this one to api gonna be api slash users sent and there we go we have all users that we have registered okay cool so next and is our next video we are going to deploy this application into heroku and send this live url to our friend to test our first api that we have created